Here we are again. New game. It's weird playing lots of new games in a row after having played some games. Namely, beat that so many times in a row. But, welcome to Let's Play Hot Wheels Extreme Racing. How many kinds of racing can Hot Wheels have? Gotta find out one day. This was actually a bit of a pain to get working on. The game ran just fine, but the recording software had an, an update and broke recording this emulator, so I had to figure that out. So I don't know if we're gonna have time to record four episodes to fill up all of my time this week. It might be a day without an episode. We'll see. Also, flash lights, jeez. But you might be noticing the gimmick already about this particular game. One, suspension. But two, now, it's not quite the same as the game we're coming here from, Bash Arena, but things are seeming a little bit more violent here than usual. Look at all the technology they acquired, mostly for attacking each other. So what's happened here? What's happened between Bash Arena and this game? We'll find out quite quickly. We'll also find out what cars are in this game. I know there's at least one that we recognize. There should of course be plenty that we recognize, but we'll see just how many there are. I only know of one car that's in this game, so <laughs> we'll see what comes of that. Welcome to Let's Play Extreme Racing! The game. Lots of things to do, so we'll see what there is to be seen. How do you control this game? That's actually, it's good that this game tells me this. We have stunts now, that's interesting. Also presets. My god. But you can also customize it. It's kind of nice. So brake is square. Handbrake is circle. That's strange, but okay. Handbrake on the R1 sounds better. That sounds better to me. Oh, we also have two handbrakes. Oh, you can use L1 for handbrake anyways. That's fine. Just make sure I'm going to know how to do things. So pick up Stunt are the two main things I need to remember. Okay. So just want to make sure something stupid happening here. Everything's on. We can center the screen, but the screen is in fact centered. Stereo for you guys to have fun with. See if it was on mono instead of stereo, for instance, I'd want to have it on mono or on stereo for you guys to enjoy. Multiple AI cars, interesting. Enter, enter codes to unlock things. I doubt that we'll do that, but that's something we can do. Okay. So we'll start with arcade. Just to get an idea of how to play this. Or oh, burn down these letters. It's a very destructive game. Just do it. Just do a box. I don't know how long the name can be. It's interesting. So there are numbers on the left that tells us, I guess, which types of cars to use in different parts. So there are different modes for these cars to be in, which is interesting. Different difficulties, we need to actually unlock those. So this is primary so this is primarily water, I guess. Beachhead, which makes sense considering the name. So we'll see what that's like. I'm guessing that changes automatically. So we have different cars, and you can also accelerate um modify cars to degree too. Customize them, it sounds like. So we have silhouette too. Silhouette's back. No, actually we weren't really sure whatever happened to silhouette after we got out of the past once we came back. So it is in fact no longer a literal shadow anymore. That's good. Lucky them. For right four, I don't recognize them. We're gonna say that it's Harry or whatever her name is, I guess. Got a bolt! Got a bolt! Uh, I want to say it was race cam last time? Back in I wish I still had the list. I deleted it. Of uh, the different cars in Turbo Racing. If that was race cam. So these are the only cars we have right now. Strange combination of characters, but race games here at least. So we have two kind of uncommon characters and then race cam. It's weird. Let's have something a bit more balanced. Let's see how Silhouette's doing after all this time. So you can. Interesting. So you can actually balance how the car is. Because you can spend how much you want to parts. That's really interesting. Okay, there's a lot to think about in this game. Work on your handling. It actually changes how, it changes how things look on the car itself. Curious. It does. That's cool. 
but I can change what each part is like. So this is mostly... So we'll leave this part alone up here for the time being, because it's mostly this. So this has handling? Yeah. We're fairly slow normally in, in that mode. Try something like that. And then put something into here. So we can try to handle ourselves. And we're flying. Okay. See what that's like. Oh man, these guys have names. That's weird. They're not really names though. They're very, very variegated names. Also, is that uh, Dragster? Oh, that's um, Shadow Mark II, isn't it? Shadow Mark II was auto last time. Is auto still going to be here? Is auto still relevant? Auto might be here. We might say it's auto or we might say it's Metacog. That might change later. We'll see. So we have Silhouette and I guess that might be... Let's just say it's Drifting Around Storm for now because it's a racing type of car. So we have Silhouette, Auto or Metacog. We'll see. Drifting Around Storm and Race Cam. Let's see how this goes. It's a nice lineup where we actually recognize all the characters at least. Of course, characters are subject to change since we don't know what all the cars are that are in this game so far. I might have also confused myself. I don't... Was this car Race Cam before? Who was this car? I don't remember. If it wasn't Race Cam, then we'll probably try to fix that. This is a loud game. Jeez. Let me have... Power ups. That's not power up the speed. Which is also good. So there's a lot of variation here. Okay, so power up is that. Okay. Yeah, what, what's the point of this part being flight? I mean, not, what's, what's the point of this part being flight? I don't think it, there's any element of controlling myself vertically. I don't think. Go ahead. I think. I don't know if this does have an issue or something. We'll find out things as we go. Grass Knuckles feels like something would be contact damage or something, but I don't know how well I can actually come into contact with others. I'm guessing that bar on the bottom right is my life from some capacity. That break is very... Very serious turning. Ah! Oh, jeez, yeah, you touch someone and you have that, and that ruins their day. I'd like this, though, instead. Let me catch up to you. I don't know who these different guys are because you can't see them. You can't see their cars very well based off of what they're. On them. There's a stuff that's on top of them. That might be race cam. I think it looks red. Just no race cam. So we have actually ooh, found the original race cam though, which is notable. Considering that at the end of last game, we were trying to find the original race cam. Or not race cam, no, never mind. We're trying to find a few other individuals. We haven't found any of them yet. Maybe except for Metacog. I do what that does. So we set up swords. I'll take it. Coming after you. That's a mine. That's not what I need. It's a nuclear mine, apparently. Boy. So can I actually destroy opponents too? I might have just disabled. Maybe you just have to respawn if you car gets destroyed, I'm not sure. I might have just disabled race cam. Now why we would be fighting like that? If this time we actually know that these are not the black bones, but the real guys. That's a very good question. I cannot use that here. Can I use that here? Yes, okay. Just can't use that in the air. Run for that. Oh, that's a really bad place for that health pickup. I had a hard time picking up that last health pickup. Interesting. I'm not really worried about this since I'm in front anyways. Let's just get rid of that. Good job, Silhouette. Oh, no, we're just gonna behind me. Yeah, replay it. Okay. Oh, now they're attacking each other. Interesting. So there's still some violence here. But why is there violence? Let's try to find out. So I'm guessing you unlock new cars through... Actually, it might be through arcade mode too. I'm not sure. There could be a few ways you unlock new cars. Torment would probably be one of them. 
championship or whatever it was called. So you might do these all individually. Might as well get a feel for these courses before we go into tournament, though. So we can try these all out. So see how they all play. I'm not sure what weight does. I'm curious about that. Let's see what Margaret, or whatever her name is, has to say about these things. So, is, so this one's actually a lot, a lot about driving, so you should probably put something into that. And it would be good to have. I prefer just not to be slow everywhere. Let's see what that's like. We'll get an idea of how to play these different things as time goes on. Same lineup. You might get the same lineup throughout the entirety of this cup. I don't know. We'll see. I have no idea how many cars are in this game, so... I think for now we will say that Shadow Mark II is a... Is that what it's called? I don't know, for some reason the name feels wrong to me. I think we will say that it is in fact. Um, is there a go faster in the time I can That might be the case. We will say that's Metacoggle, I think. I thought it would be three separate missiles I could fire individually, not instead of or instead of. But what's that? I'm under it. Similar to another game. Jeez, we actually have guns now too. What is constant to fire such weapon? So why are these guys fighting the way they are? So here's the thing. So he's not Metacog, apparently. But now we're all fighting. And the fighting has advanced to the point where we're actually developing and using weapons now as well. Oh, come on! I lost a lot for just a moment for some reason. Let's try to hit someone. That's us. Going after me. Ah, he lose trash for a moment and things go bad. Like, like I said, the green ones actually are all... ...visually aimed. ...visually shot at me. I have these right behind me like that. Darn, I love it. That's something about that. Those sounds are very strange. There we go. Much better. This car, despite being a bit of a powerhouse, actually is testing quite a bit of damage already. I don't know if I'll figure out how to better dodge take a bunch of damage later on or not. It's not really doing much for me right now. There's not a lot in the way of- Oh my god, defensive power-ups in this game. It's feeling like. What are you doing here, Skull? Why are you floating? That's the most concerning thing about that Skull today. Why is it floating? Why are those in the air? Is there something to jump back up on that? I don't remember seeing a jump button. Let's see if we can find out more and more things about this game as we go on, of course. I would like to get that. Oh, okay, well, whatever happened there, I was going fast while I did it, so... I guess it's fine. I would like to pick up one of those oil slicks. I don't know if I think mine is, because I'd be taking damage if I was. Nice place, man. <laughs> Take that drifting around store. Yeah, though, so we did in fact find. Oh, I didn't get the high score though. Drift Grind Storm is the one that was with the most style, apparently. Oh, jeez. So I did not do so well this time. Drift Grind Storm is the king of style today. We're getting points for things I didn't know you could get points for. That will be it for this episode though, but that leaves us with a question. Despite us having found Metagog, why is it that we're all fighting now? Why has it advanced so far to the point where we're developing and using various forms of technology to attack each other? in more and more violent ways, and to chase each other, pursue each other in more violent ways. There's something going on here. We'll see if we can find out what it is later. In any case, see you next time, guys.